middle school students started firing two handguns in the middle of class. There's a teacher that's being called the hero this morning. Mello, what's up? Have you seen a story on the news about the shooting outside Indy? This dude's a hero. Oh, for real? I think you should go out there to check him out. You think he wants all that attention? Just let him know that you appreciate him. That's it. You think he want to watch a game with me? Dedication. Hard work, plus patience to some more of my sacrifice. I'm done waiting, I'm done waiting. Told you that I wasn't playing. Now you hear what I've been saying. Dedication. 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 Active shooter at Wilson Schools, active shooter at Wilson Schools. Male with a gun. The 1032 has a silencer on it. Second floor, second floor. Dispatch any 13 shooters contained. Dispatch if you have a notified other schools, lock them down. Shooter is in handcuffs, weapons are secure. Jason Seaman, teacher by day, football coach by night. On May 25, 2018, he stopped a school shooting in his seventh grade science class. First off, uh, as a person who isn't looking for attention, uh, nor entirely comfortable with the situation I'm currently in. The scariest 15 seconds of his life became his 15 minutes of fame. My actions on that day, uh, in my mind, were the only acceptable actions I could have done given the circumstances. A quick-thinking science teacher is being credited with saving lives. Heroically confronting the student. Just about everybody who's ever met him has come out of the woodwork now. Rami came up with the idea to start a GoFundMe page. Serving as the honorary chairperson of the Indiana Derby. Honored tonight at the Pacers season opener. Gave Jason Seaman a new car. President Trump praising an Indiana teacher for stopping a school shooting. Chicago. Cubs invited Seaman to come up to date. Now has a beer named after him. Jason Not one to seek the spotlight. Today, science teacher Jason Seaman couldn't avoid being the center of attention in Noblesville. Ever since, he's become the biggest hero in town. Even in our district. Thank well, you. you're our one best. Thank you. Appreciate that. That is the most awkward thing for me because I don't feel I did anything special. There was a kid and kids in need of help and to be told you're somebody special for helping a kid is absurd to me. Uh, that's not necessary, not at all. Yeah, well it is to all of us. Thank you. I bet. So she just said that every time I come in here, everybody in here wants to pay for my meal. So, that's kind of crazy to think about, because if I look around, I see three or four faces I actually know. I go to a restaurant expecting to pay for my own food, wanting to pay for my own food, and they don't let me. So that's, uh, that's weird, very weird. Uh, Noblesville is a typical Midwest County seat. We are in a very, very tough league, but they're doing well. We have a young coach, he's well respected. Whenever they can get out here and just relax, they're at their best because they have so much pressure and stress to be in middle school. When they can put all that in the rear view and just have fun and play, they're all smiles. You can see it, and they're getting after it. Whoever catches it gets a Gatorade on Monday. Hey, got another one. I teach seventh grade science at Noblesville West Middle School, and I coach the eighth grade football team. You guys are my smelliest friends. Really? Yes. My friend. Father. My smelliest friends. Yes. If you take my first year teaching, it was a rocky road. I was learning as I was going, and then I started to develop my classroom personality, and that continues to change and evolve. I try not to let the shooting affect it. Coaching, it definitely has. Because I always tried to keep you know, this barrier between myself and the players. And I can definitely tell that this year is just different because Noblesville has a lot of positives going for it. Um, just one dark cloud that's kind of still hovering a little bit. Is this really who we want to be? A country where anybody at any time 
could be shot to death. It's happened again uh, here in the United States, a school shooting. One student has been injured. Two students were shot, gunshot wounds. Two 15-year-olds dead. It happened in the uh, art hallway. And the bullet came from a room attached to his dorm room. Fired a gun in his classroom. There have been 23 school shootings where someone was hurt or killed so far this year. Wake Forest University. Lincoln High School. Santa Fe High School. At Huffman High School. Italy High School. Stoneman Douglas High School. Forest High School. The list goes on and on. On and on. And it wasn't even June yet. Of course, you know of all the shootings, I mean, we hear them, and you just, you know, think it's not going to happen in little old Noble so Well, it did. We have breaking news. Breaking news from Indiana now. Another school shooting this morning. Take a deep breath with me on this one. We have breaking news in the state of Indiana. There has been a shooting at Noblesville West Middle School. It was just one of those days where people were going to show up, and we were going to take the test, and that would be that and we'd go into the weekend. And first hour went by fine, and second hour is when everything went down. The preliminary information is that a male student asked to be excused from his class. He left to use the restroom, and he came back, and uh, my friend opened the door for him. He did come in for a solid 10 seconds, and then as soon as he came in, Shots are fired. The seventh grader was armed with a pair of handguns. He did shoot the teacher in the process as well as a female student who is in critical condition. I saw Ella hit the floor and like all happened in slow motion. Like nobody was standing, like getting down. The first sign that something was off was the pressure I felt in my abdomen, um, which was the first bullet. And that's when I saw we just made eye contact and he was pointing his weapon straight at me. That's kind of where it just clicked. And I, I acted. I had a basketball in my hand. I reared it back and I threw it. I threw it at him. And it made him have to move. And that changed his aim point. And then I just tackled him to the ground and told my, my students to get out of there. We all like got up super quick. I think at that time, really, reality kicked in for me. And we're now learning how quickly the situation was contained. Authorities is swarming the scene. Students escorted on buses out to safety. All units seen a safe shooter is handcuffed. Virtually all school shootings occur in under five minutes. To get there this quick and to get it stopped and get him identified and down clearly saved lives. Jason was a defensive lineman in Illinois College, a big guy. You know, because of that, perhaps, it was more instinctive to just tackle this kid, you know, and get him down, and obviously he did that. I don't know if it's the product of being in contact sports. I mean, I was in wrestling, I was in football, basketball, the way I played it was a contact sport. I don't know, I've just always been a reactive person. I, just, I don't know, I didn't think about it, I didn't make a choice, it was just what I did person of action. It's easy to say that you would put yourself out there and protect a kid, but it's another thing to do it. He put his life out to save others. Even after being shot, he still came back and did football with us. He's really open and he's just like a great person. It's just amazing what Coach Seaman did. An amazing coach and an amazing person. He's just a good guy and I appreciate him being my coach. Yes, I think he's a hero. Hero is always a weird word for me. I think any time a situation is intense and a good person does the right thing, they don't feel like they should be recognized for it because they were just doing the right thing. Jason is a humble hero. He doesn't want the spotlight. But let's be real, he took three bullets. His student, Ella Whistler, took seven. Both of them are already back at school with bullets still in their bodies. I had Ella all year. She's a showman at heart. She loves to sing, she loves to dance, she loves to just have fun in that regard. And I think that was one of the hardest parts for me because I knew about her injuries and I wondered if she'd get back to that. The clavicle was shattered, her first second rib was fractured and her C5 and C6 was, was fractured. So it all affected the nerve damage on her whole right arm. My physical therapist is like working on my shoulder because all my muscles are tight, and so they're trying to loosen them up. I mean, occupational is working on my hand and arm, trying to get my arms straight and my hand back to 100% function. There's a chance that my hand won't get back to 100%. Yeah. You remember what else we're always worried about? Because the bullet moved. The bullet moves closer to your spinal cord. I mean, the debate on firearms is always going to rage on because it's a personal opinion. 
And when people get into personal opinions, there's never a winner. There's no common ground because everybody wants to win. Do I think putting more guns in the school will help solve the problem? Probably not. I've only experienced what happened to me. I think we have to treat each other better if we really want to get at the heart of the problem. And that is a whole different ball game. We are here tonight to pay tribute to the many who have gained selflessly on May 25th and the following weeks. Today, Noblesville says thank you to all of our heroes, big and small. family that that sports brings together. On the field, we like having fun. And off the field, stuff happens and it brings you together. So we always try to look out for each other instead of letting it divide us. I want to be known in the community as a teacher, as a coach, as a father. I want to be known as that person. I didn't need to get shot for that to happen. Moving forward, this year's begun. I've got a great group of kids. The trust is there. I know some teachers, they're still struggling with it, but it's a chapter of my story now. It won't be separated as much as I would want it to be. I'm just gonna continue to do my job the best I can, and you know everything else will take care of itself. It's a cow. That is the cow. I can't see it from here. Oh my goodness. No way. No way. How are you? Oh good. I have it set up. Man, it's come on in, come on in, yeah. I heard about the story and it definitely takes a lot of a lot of heart and a lot of I mean you sacrifice, most definitely. So I just wanted to come and, you know, show a little appreciation for that. I'm floored right now. Yeah. I can't believe you take the time out to do that. Yeah. Can you say hi, Jameson? <laughs> he plays football. Think you can tackle him? Tennessee, Auburn, and then and Florida, yeah. Oh, yeah. When did you start playing football? I started playing football. My sister took me to the park in third grade, and I wasn't good at all. I was no. playing, yeah, I wasn't good at all. <laughs> Didn't work? Nah, I was playing like left guard. I was just like the kid you just throw out there, like. <laughs> just, here's your jersey. Like, just just getting away. Yeah. Yeah. How many plays do they usually bring into the huddle? Well, you know our quarterback's pretty good. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm wondering. Like. So, our playbook is crazy. And Sean will be like, I see it. I, I, I had a dream about it. Like, I see it. It's going to happen just like this. And then, visions. and then on Sunday, when it happens just like that, you're like, man, this dude, he's really smart. That's why I like playing offense. It's like, defense is so, you got to anticipate so much. Mm -hmm. Offense is more like, you gotta anticipate a little bit to a certain extent just based off coverage and stuff, but shoot, you always kinda like got the one up. You, you, gotta, know. you got that control. Yeah, you got yeah. control. So you're a celebrity in this town now. In this town is the key word. <laughs> in this town. In this town now. Yeah. So how's that been? I mean it's it's been whatever. And people are just, you know, wanting to say hi and people come over and over and over and that's the bad part. Or like you can't enjoy like being right. a regular person. And mine's all tailored around one event. So yeah. every time I talk to somebody, they want to bring it up. Yeah. And it's like, you know what? It's not one of my favorite days. Exactly. <laughs> you got to just I don't wanna... go past it. Right. Yeah. Like, so I can only imagine like, what you had to deal with. I'm not a what if kind of person. Yeah. So like, life's going to do what life's going to do. Course, yeah. And you can, That's how you can prepare the best you want to, and life's going to throw you a curveball. Yeah. And you, you can swing and miss, or you can swing and hit a you home just run. You got to control what you can control. Right. We just got to trust that people are going to do the right thing. But, yeah. That's crazy, though, man. I really appreciate you just you know, letting me in your house and just kicking it for a little bit. Yeah. Appreciate you taking the time to come here. No doubt. Man. That means a lot. 
think to talk football with someone who understands football and really knows football is something I very rarely get to do. It was a lot of fun to talk about, you know, the ins and outs and, you know, situational stuff like that. I mean, I lit up like a little kid at Christmas when I opened the door. Oh, appreciate you. Take care of yourself. Have fun. We'll do it. <laughs>